YouTube, what to do, man? It's your boy Matt back with another sneaker review for Metro Cars and Kicks. And today, as always, man, we got another beautiful box in the building. I think y'all already know what these is. But before we jump into the video and the, or the review, excuse me, make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and let me know in the comments, man, what you think about these sneakers, man. Would you cop these or would you drop these? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this thing, man. So today we got a men's size eight Jordan Retro Six. Yep, the Jordan Six Toro Bravo things. Wow, man, these things is hard, bro. I can't lie to you. I think these things is hard. First thing I'm gonna say is the shoe is all suede. Now I will say, looking at the pictures before the release. I thought the materials would be a little bit different in terms of the suede. That's the only thing I'm really not feeling. I think Nike Jordan brand could have did a much better quality job in terms of the type of material, type of suede that they use. Um, but I'm still rocking with the shoe. I got my personal pair in a size 12. In the bottom, you got the black. You got some more hints of red. You got them icy soles on the bottom, just like a traditional Jordan 6. I mean, it's just a hype. It's a, it's a nice red Jordan 6. It's a nice red Jordan sneaker, period, man. Um, you got the, got the lace lock on there. You got the Jordan summer right there. And your face on the tongue, on the uh, on the upper. Again, just all red. Not a lot that I can say about these. I mean, I just think it's a really, really clean shoe. Um, it speaks for itself. Jump man with the air on the back, which you typically see. You already know what the six is, man. Uh, from a resale standpoint, no real resale value in these. Um, this was an easy cop for most people. If you wanted these for the personal, you probably can still find some of these sitting in stores, depending on your location, probably in the smaller sizes. If you're lucky, maybe some bigger sizes. Um, no real resale value in these right now. Even on a long-term perspective, I don't see any retail value in these. Um, but you never know, depending on your market area, somebody really want them, then they may pay for them. But I think this was just one that people wanted to rock for the personal on foot. And I don't blame them because I did too. I cannot wait to hit these with that um, water stain repellent and get out there and rock these bad boys because these is fire to me. You feel what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what you think about these, man. Would you cop these? Would you drop these, man? Until next time, it's your boy Matt, and I'm out. Peace.